Hello, people. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Hi, good evening. <laughs> good evening. How was your day? Ah, oh, was uh, very difficult, but I, I, I'm here. Oh, it was a difficult day. <laughs> well, it's Friday, yes. right? It's Friday, and the body knows it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. The bed knows. <laughs> oh, and the bed also it's calling you, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's good to see you people. Well, we have more girls this evening. Oh, well, we have Saul, Renato, Jairo connecting in this moment. Well, guys, uh, welcome to your English class for this evening. This is the class number 11. In a moment, you will see the presentation. Just give me a moment because I was in another class. But, uh, yeah, just give me one moment to look for the uh, class 11. So we're going to continue learning about the future we will and going to. Let me share the screen. Okay, so this is class 11 and the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. So in this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. Teacher. Yes. This is, this is the past, past class. Oh, it's lesson 11. Sorry. Yes, you, lesson 11. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to change that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but we'll continue learning about the future. We'll and going to. So we are going to have a review of the previous class. We are going to continue practicing the future with will and making plans for vacation. Going to, and then the wrap up. Okay, we are going to make some predictions. I have here the start started some expressions to start a sentence. And I need your opinions. In the number one, we have by 2050, the earth, and you will use the structure will or will not or want. Okay? Or you can use the contraction form. With I'll, you'll, he'll, she'll, he'll, will. Okay. So, what can you tell me about what will happen by 2050? What will happen to the air? I hope the air will will be beautiful earth. Okay, so Margarita thinks that by 2050, the air will be beautiful. Excellent, thank you, Margarita. Okay, any prediction for next year? It can be about you, about the world, about someone else. Any idea? You can also type it in the chat or you can open your microphone and tell me. Meanwhile, I'm going to write here your examples. By 2000, okay, Francisco? Okay, um, the next year I will uh, be lingua. Bilingual. Hey, great. <laughs> By next year, Francisco will be bilingual. Yes, I love it. I love that idea. By December, you 
your predictions for December? Will be, will, uh, by December, will be to eat um, turkey. Okay, by December, <laughs> we'll say many people will eat, will eat turkey. Okay. Surprise, all the time I eat chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you chicken. Oh, chicken. December you will eat chicken, more chicken than usual. Okay, in 10 years? Predictions for 10 years. In 2033. I will have 50 years old. Okay, I will be. I will be. I will be. Or the contraction, I will be. I'll be 50 years old. <laughs> okay, Jenny, you don't look like 40. No, no, I, I, I'm 35. <laughs> You're 35. Okay, in 10 years, you will be 45. <laughs> okay, but it's just an example. What will happen in 50 minutes? In around 15 minutes. In around 15 minutes, I, I'll eat the dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in around 15 minutes, I will have dinner. Or oh, I'll have dinner. Oh, you will have dinner after class. Yes, yes, because I work and I to return my house 20 minutes after the class. 20 minutes before? The class. Before the class, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Poor Ruth. Okay, Ruth. Well, <laughs> I think you are accustomed to that. So those are the predictions. Uh, very nice. Can somebody read the, all the predictions? Ana Silvia, would you like to read the examples? Yes. Making predictions by... 2015, the herd will be a beautiful, will be beautiful. By next year, Francisco will be bilingual. 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 By December, many people will eat turkey. And in 10, in 10 years, I will be 50 years old. In around 50 minutes, I'll I'll have dinner. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your example. For reading the examples. Okay, so guys, let's uh, practice the contractions with will. Okay, in affirmative, we use the subject, I mean the, the subject pronoun, the, the apostrophe and LL. Okay, I'll you you can pronounce after me. I'll 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 you kill you kill and will 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 be <laughs> okay now the negative <coughs> sorry guys negative form we use want okay want. this is the contraction of will not i will not you will not but in the contracted form we say i want Repeat, please, after me. I want. I want. want. You want. You want. You want. He want. 
She wants. She wants. It wants. They want. They want. And we want. We want. Okay, let's let's write some or let's type some examples using the contraction affirmative. Okay. Oh, Luisa wants me to repeat ill, 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 ill. Okay, I have my examples. I'll brush my teeth after the class. Before I go to bed. I'll brush my teeth. What is your brush. example using the contractions? Oh, so I will go to my bed. <laughs> yeah. I take my I take a shower after the class. Good, Maida. You'll take you'll take a shower. Yeah. And we have Ruth. Can you read your example? I will study the exercise after the class. I... Excellent pronunciation. Yes. Jenny, yes. Jenny uh -huh. this Jenny? is the. Mm -hmm. Okay, I write it. <coughs> Sorry. Jenny, can you read, please, yours? Jenny, can you read your example, please? I'll do my homework. Oh, okay. You are very responsible. <laughs> I want to see more examples. More examples. Okay. For example, using the contracted, okay, Luisa? Luisa? Hi. Can you read? Hey, I'll speak with my sister tomorrow. Perfect. Margarita? No. I'll wake up very early tomorrow. Okay. Miguel? Miguel Portillo. Sorry. I won't work tomorrow. Excellent. You're using the negative. Esaú? Morita, um, I'm going to my work tomorrow. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you for your examples. Now, can you please now use the negative? Use want. <coughs> please. I won't get up early tomorrow. You won't get up. Okay. All right. Ruth, 
should. You don't have to use to. It's just, I want. I want work tomorrow. It's just like that. I want work tomorrow. Want is the contraction of will not. Okay? Okay. But this is the teclado. I don't know. How do you say teclado? <laughs> It's a, oh, she wanted pupusas tomorrow. Mm, that's too sad. I won't play Switch tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Renato. Nintendo Switch. I have a, another one. I won't see you tomorrow. Right? Because we won't have class. I won't see you tomorrow. That's very sad. <laughs> Oh, somebody wrote, I read my book um, before going to bed. Excellent, Anastasia. Okay, very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your examples. Okay. <laughs> I, Jenny won't do exercise tomorrow. Giselle. You say, Marie, can you read your example? Okay, I I won't get, get up early. Okay, nice. What time will you get up? At a 40 theater. Excuse 4:30. me? 4.30 a.m. Okay, but tomorrow you won't get up at 4.30. No. Okay. What tomorrow time? Get up at tomorrow I will get up. Night. Tomorrow I will get up at eight. At eight. That's nine. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry. Very good. I think tomorrow I won't speak. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um. Let's continue. Well, I I want you guys to have a listening exercise, but I need to prepare it. Just give me one moment. You can continue writing more examples if you want. Just give me a moment to find the listening part. I need to prepare the computer for that. It's loading, so just give me a moment. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm reading your examples. Okay, so you are going to listen to a conversation between two women. They are talking about vacation. So please pay attention. I will play it a second time, but please pay attention the first time. I want you to practice your listening skills. Okay, so you will only listen right now. I'm so excited. We Can you listen? Yes. yes. Okay. I have two yes. weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay, the first part. We're going to stop there right now. <coughs> oh, am I sharing the screen? <laughs> okay, 
So if you notice in the conversation, they are talking about their vacation plan. How long will their vacation be? How long will their vacation be, guys? For two weeks. Exactly. They will have two weeks vacation. Can you imagine? A nice, nice vacation. Okay. Do you remember the first woman plans for vacation? Do you remember her plan? Yeah. Stay home. No. I need to listen again. Rest. Oh, very yeah. nice. Okay, Jenny, you remember. She said that. She said, I'll probably rest. Rest in the house. And watch some movies. Some movies. <coughs> okay, so she said. Um, I will relax at home. <coughs> I will, she said, oh, I will, I will say she, right? She will relax at home. And she will probably watch some movies. Movie. Okay, what about the second woman? She will, she will going to the beach with she her house. She has a specific plan. She has going to the beach. She's going to the beach. What else? With the cousin. With the cousin. She's surfing. Okay, she's going to the beach with her cousin. Very nice. Okay. Um. I will, I want you to listen again and the rest of the conversation. Again. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present... Okay, nice. Okay, so now you can tell me more about the second woman plans for vacation. Somebody wrote that in the chat. Uh, Ruth wrote going to the beach and surfing every day, right? She said that we are going to the we are going to go surfing. Okay, more questions. Where are they going to stay? Where are they going to stay? At the aunt's house? Exactly, at their aunt's and uncle's house. And they have a lot of rooms. Mm -hmm. and, and. Aunts and uncles. Very nice. <clears throat> Now, in the listen, in the conversation, they were there were some useful expressions. I don't know if you can remember some of them. Some useful expressions that we can use in our conversations in English. 
For example, they say, by the way, <clears throat> by the way, this expression, me, we use it to change the topic. So you are talking about something and then you say, by the way, we use by the way to change the topic. Okay, for example, you say, okay, so uh, tomorrow I will uh, see some friends in an important meeting. By the way, why don't we go and have lunch together? Okay, by the way, we use it to change the topic. There was another expression. And it's, do you mean it? She says, do you mean it? Do you have any idea about this expression? Do you mean it? It's the same. Mm -hmm. It's something, it, it's something like, en serio, o exactly. de verdad, algo así. Yeah, like, for real? Are you serious? <clears throat> okay, so that's another expression. And I don't remember the others <laughs> in this moment. Really? Okay. When you said, you know, you know. Really? Okay, another uh, expression, you know. Dijo algo como entre más mejor, algo así. Mm. Like, I think when they were talking about their uncles and aunt's house. Uh, maybe, teacher. Cuando lo estaba invitando a que se uniera con ella, le dice, the more... Ah. Meet or uh, or something like that. I I don't I I don't remember okay. very well. This time, this time we are going to listen for those expressions and also expression or words to express possibility. To express possibility. Okay, we'll listen one more time. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me... Okay, so, um, in the previous slide. Okay, um, to express possibility, do you remember the expressions they mentioned? I will have maybe you. exactly by the, by the way by the way okay to express possibility they say I think or I guess maybe really? and I probably I probably okay uh -huh. or I will probably okay nice and the other expressions that we were mentioned, I think they erased. They erased. Here. Yeah.
Okay, so they were saying, do you remember? Yeah, I'm excited. You sleep? Ah, oh, they said, I'm too excited to sleep. It's like, you're very anxious about the next day, then you can't sleep, right? I'm too excited to sleep. Um, I'm not, do you remember this expression, sounds? It sounds... She says, sounds good. good. It sounds fun. It sounds fun. Right? fun. It sounds fun. Like having a good time. Sounds fun. Mm. When she invites, how did she how did she invite her friend? Why don't you? Um. Why don't you come with us? Why don't you come with us? Okay. Mm, there was another one. She says, I will let them know. Let them know. We can use this expression, for example, I will let you know. Te haré saber. I will let you know. I will let her know. I will let Jenny know. Okay. I will let them know. Mm, what about this expression? What does it mean? Hang out. Hang out with friends. Like go out. Exactly. It's like going out. Going out with friends. Do you like to hang out with friends? Yes. Yes, I like. <laughs> okay. Um. She also said we'll leave. We live pretty early. So over here, pretty is an adverb. It's not an adjective, it's an adverb. We live pretty early. It means very early. Very early. So pretty is the same as very. The class was pretty boring. Very boring. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so those are some of the useful expressions. Do you remember other useful expressions from? Yeah, thank you, Margarita. The more, the merrier. <laughs> yes, that was the expression. Which means that it's going to be better if she goes, right? More people better for them it's gonna be more fun thank you thank you margarita the more the merrier and i forgot the other expressions guys today my memory is not so good but these are a lot of useful and important expressions okay that you can use in your daily conversations in english did you copy them can I erase? Wait a moment, teacher. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> Let me know, please. Let me know when I can. I finished, right. teacher. Finish? Okay. okay, so think about these, these uh, other expressions for possibility. I think, I guess, maybe, and I probably. We use it with will, 
because we are not sure, right? We are not sure. It's like the first woman, she said, um, I think I will stay home. I guess I will hang out with friends. Maybe, maybe I will watch some movies. Okay, we can make here is I will. I forgot to put here the will. I will probably. I will probably relax at home. Okay. So we use will with these words of possibility. I think, I guess, maybe, I will probably. And then you use the, the future um, statement. Mm -hmm. I wanna send you this, guys, so you can have it in your, in your WhatsApp group. <clears throat> Okay, so now that you have it, once you have it in your WhatsApp group, I can erase it and we can continue with the next slide. So this is what we were having in the conversation. What are you going to do? Plans you have already decided on. I'm going to relax at the beach. We are going to go surfing every day. I'm not going to do anything special. Now we use will for possible plans before you have made a decision. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere. I probably won't go anywhere. Okay? So those are the expressions of possibility. And now we have here a conversation. You're going to help me to complete with the correct form. Will or be going to? <laughs> have you made any vacations yet? Well, I've decided on one thing. Uh huh. Tell me, please. I will go. 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 But I it's, look, I've decided. Ah, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Exactly. I'm uh, going to go. going to go camping. I'm going to go camping. <laughs> Let me put it better. I'm going to go camping. I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I will be. I will be. For how long? It's a plan. I will. I'm going to be away for a week. Yes, I'm going to be. I'm going. I'm going to be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? Mm, I'm not sure. I will. Exactly. I will, I will probably leave around the end of May. So because he is not sure, we use probably. Exactly. We use going to when it's a plan, when you are sure, but in this case, you are not sure. So I will probably leave around the end of May. And where do you will go? Where, do you? Where are you going to go? Yeah. Exactly. Where are you going to? Where are you going to go? Because they are talking about his plans for vacation. Where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess 
I will go. I to will go. exactly because he's using I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I will go. I will. I will go hiking and do some fishing. Mm -hmm. Are you going to rent a camper? Exactly. Are you will? Are you going? Go Are you going to rent to a camper? I'm not I'm sure. sure. I'm not sure. I, I, probably, I probably will. Probably I will. will. I probably will. will rent a camper. Uh, or if he says too expensive, I probably. I won't. I probably won't. I won't. I, won't. I, won't. I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. Are, are, are you, you going, going to? to go with anyone? Anyone? Are you going, are you going to go with anyone now? I need some I time need some alone. Time. I, I will travel. I'm going plan. to travel. Plan. It's a plan. So it's, I'm going to travel by myself. Alone. Forever alone. I'm going to travel by myself, forever and not. <laughs> so do you see the difference when we use the expressions? Maybe, I guess, I think, I'm not sure. Maybe, probably, we'll use will. Okay, remember our friend will. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, people, so right now it's time to practice. I will send you to breakout rooms and you will have a conversation practice about your next vacation. You can use either going to or will because it depends. If you have plans for your next vacation, you can use going to. But if you don't have plans, you can say, I think, I guess, maybe, I probably, I'm not sure. And these are the questions. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. I already sent the the picture so please let's go in groups
take your next vacation? Where are you going to take your next? Ah, casi solo de vacaciones, ¿eh? ¿verdad? I may, um, I probably, um, I probably going, going to maybe see my parents. How long are you going to the, to be on vacation? Maybe only for two days. Okay. Me pregunta yo. <laughs> sí. Now you you made the question. You do the question. Yeah, exactly. Okay, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Teacher, mm. spend your significa. What is the meaning? ¿Qué vas a hacer en tus vacaciones? ¿Cómo las vas a usar? Mm. Maybe, maybe I'm going to visit my sister and I will go to the beach with my friends. All right. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to I'm probably I teacher I was alone. So you don't okay, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna move you to another group, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Really, sí, sí, por ejemplo, I think, I guess, maybe, 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 I think I will stay at home in, in the next vacation. Okay. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. And you? And when are you going to take your next? On August? vacaciones de agosto hello hello <laughs> um, ok Luisa y Miguel are you practicing Margarita estamos terminando bueno yo estoy terminando la respuesta okay. Ah, okay. But it's just conversation, okay? You can write and you can be talking about your next vacation. Okay, in my next vacation, I'm going to my niece wedding. Oh. Uh, Where? If... Where is it going to be? I will probably go to Apaneca. Ah. And it will be next December. And I will have only five days off. Oh, okay. <laughs> five days of vacation. Of vacations, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Well, my my I, my next vacation is going to be in August. And uh, wait a minute.
And where are you going to go? Um, I think I will stay here. I won't go out because in that week, we are going to have a special visit. So I am going to stay home. <laughs> so I'm not going to go out like to the beach or any other place. But after that vacation, my husband and I are planning to go on an adventure to Santa Ana for two weeks. So it's going to be very excited. He's going to ask for some days at work and I will have to ask also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds... I, I don't understand... What do you, what will you do in Santa Ana? Ah, we are going to be in a small town. Okay. And we are going to For teach the campaign? people. <laughs> we are going to teach people about the Bible. Okay, okay. <laughs> no? Very good. What about Luisa and Miguel? Ah, uh, okay. It's well. I don't like um uh, to go out too much in vacation. I I like to to go to be. I like to visit my grandparents every vacation. It's it's great because and uh, there are um uh, there are some. A lot, no, there are a lot of uh, housing, yeah, primos, yeah, and yeah. we we do a lot of things, yeah, for play, uh, we joke a lot, it's, it's great. Wow, good, Miguel, it's good to visit the family, especially if it's a large family. Yes, you can see so them large. on the invitation. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Continue practicing, please. Hello, David, Anna, and Kenya. Did you finish the practice? Hello, teacher. Hello, Kenya. Okay, you can practice with David about your plans for vacation. What are your plans for next vacation? Okay, okay. You can use the será primero, David? <laughs> David? Oh, sorry, I was with my microphone mute. <laughs> oh. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Uh, I am going to rest at home. I am probably uh, go to the beach. Oh, to the beach. You are going to go to the beach. Um, when are you going to take your next vacation? Uh, I am going to the beach. Um, probably. Resort. <laughs> when next week fish mm. I think so fry is more, fry. more uh, with with salad exactly with rice salad um sounds, sounds delicious see oh I like it the fish and um, seafood yeah, it's good in the and um, in the San Diego Beach. These are uh, the one restaurant. Yes. Uh, the name is the Brothers. Delicious fish is very good, uh, but um, no, no other place is the different uh, uh, fish. I don't know San Diego Beach. I uh, maybe I will. Wanna go to? Hi, 
Hi guys, did you finish? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. I'm glad you talk about your vacation. We can go back to the main room. Okay, guys, did you listen to any interesting plans for next vacation? Can you share about a classmate interesting plan? Maybe sleeping. <laughs> Yes, I am sleeping all days on my, on my vacation. You will yeah. sleep in rest. <laughs> yeah, I feel tired. You are very tired. And you're going to sleep late. It's Friday. <laughs> all the days of vacation. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for practicing. Remember, it's important to speak, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. We also have, have a question, ya paso lista. Right now, in this moment. Ah, okay. Es que me conecté tarde. Don't worry. Adriana González. Adriana González. Ana Silvia Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. I'm here, teacher. Blanca Margarita Guevara. Present. Brian Hyberson Escobar. David Alonso Mejía. Present. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Esaú. Present. Okay. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present, teacher. Nice. Francisco Villafuerte. Present, teacher. Nice. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Giselle Marie Hernández. Present. Iris Martinez. Oh, sorry. Iris Martinez. Not present, right? <coughs> Is Aura Evelia Vasquez? Jairo Naaman Moss. I'm here. Josué Miguel My... Portillo. Present. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present, teacher. Karen Iber Villanueva. Karen Iber. Okay. Is Karen Iber here? Karen Ivet, I think she's not connected. Kenya Vanessa. Present teacher. Leslie Victoria. Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Mayra Patricia Perez. Present. Nerlin Jaciel. Present teacher. Thank you, Nerlin. Nin Rob Saul. Present. Thank you, Rob. Nubia Cristina Morales. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present, teacher. Is Renato Salvador Ramirez. Present, teacher. Ruth Noemi Beltrán. Present, teacher. Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present, teacher. Absent. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for connecting to the class. Um, well, we started today about, we review, we review the future tense. We practice some pronunciation and listening. And well, tomorrow, not tomorrow, we won't have class tomorrow. We won't have class on Sunday. We will, or we are going to actually, because it's already planned. We are going to have class on Monday, okay? So see you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Yeah.
Bye. Bye.